So as you can see, this is a foraging toy. I have a few pellets in there. Um, I believe there's sunflower seeds, almond. What they have to do is turn this piece. And as you see, the parts at the bottom will turn until it gets to one of the clear holes and then drop to the bottom and the food will come here. I put it right above his actual pellet bowl just in case the food falls when he puts it in his mouth. It will fall into there. <coughs> Sorry for the camera, I don't know what's going on with it. There we go. And as you can see, here's another foraging toy that I actually bought at a store. Um, inside is some kind of materials for him to play in. Oh, I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> so he just naps at it. There's different, different materials all over. I know there's wood, leather pieces, and all that stuff. So that's good for him. And then my big excitement is a foraging toy that I made, which is out of my cereal box. And I had a face here, as you could maybe kind of see. He's eaten or whatever. I put carrots. This is all carrots. You can see one stuck in there. And then I had an almond as the nose. And then I had two sunflower seeds as the eyes. Inside I put crickle paper. I have newspaper. And then down 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 if i can find it uh what did i do oh i can't find it um gosh you probably wouldn't want to be i put timothy hay probably won't be able to see it hold on okay there we go so deep down i've put balls and inside these balls are little almonds so he has to open the balls chew at it and find the almond sorry ringo and at the very bottom, I put Timothy hay because they kind of like that hay stuff. And yeah, I just put a hole through the back and I've attached it with a zip tie. And that is his foraging toys. That's just an example of what some foraging toys could look like. I have a few more. That's for my Indian ring neck. <laughs>